So we're here with some reporters who are taking their turn on the other end of the interview process. Tell me your name and uh, let's just start with your name. My name is Johanna Kudi. Okay, and Ida <laughs> Sigvar. Okay. My name is Helena Klaasson. Okay. And my name is Louisa Lagerblad. Okay. So tell me, if, if you could describe Stockholm World Water Week in one word, you guys, what would it be? We'll start. See, I'll give you a minute to think about that. Okay. And we'll start over here again. One word. Um, integration. Okay. Integration. And what would you mean by that? Um, well, we had a chat before saying that, well, on one hand, it's a word that comes, uh, that we hear often in many of the seminars. Uh, and I think that integration of disciplines and people from different backgrounds uh, and countries, of course, uh, is needed to work with many of the water-related issues. Okay. And uh, how do you say Ada? Uh, I would uh, say it's uh, quite similar words, uh, communication. Communication? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, we're all here communicating and there's a lot of interactions going on. Okay. I was <laughs> thinking in the same terms actually. I was thinking about the networking here. Um, there's a lot of people from different sectors and different ages and everything. So it's very fun, people talking and meeting. Um, on the same ground. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would think of all the three words they said, but I think participation is a good word because people are here and they are allowed to speak and like, oh, I have a question, can you answer it? So participation mm -hmm. from different kinds of yeah. Yeah. So sectors. Anything that you would else that you would want to add to that? Mm. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> And so then, it, together, what's the what thing would you think you've learned in your time here? Is there anything that jumps out? Um, I think this our topic or our theme that we are reporting about is demographic changes. So I think we've learned things. At least I have about demographics worldwide. Okay, demographics worldwide. I think, um, there's been a lot of talk about uh, how to find the increments for change and to motivate both governments and by financial means motivate the private sector to uh, engage in these issues. And also about communication um, across the borders. Uh, government, the public, uh, the private sector has to come up with a <laughs> a solution together <laughs> to reach a goal, to find a, a goal together. Mm -hmm. it's um, Are you feeling optimistic, Louisa? I'm feeling very <laughs> optimistic, but I'm also feeling uh, there's so much talking and it's hard to see what's really happening outside. I mean, there's a lot of good plans and people have like, oh, we go to change this, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. But we also heard a lot of examples of... Uh, oh, good examples. Uh, yeah, uh, practical solutions. Yeah, like they're sharing the basis. Right. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Thank you for giving us your perspective. Look forward to seeing your reports from the field.